It is. Awesome. <laughs> so, hey guys, this video does have about a 10 to 15 second delay too. So as people are commenting and things, we'll have to give them a moment for the comments to pop up. But sure. welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is my friend Shelly and she has an amazing story. We got on the phone yesterday for a five minute chat and we were on the phone for over an hour. So <laughs> I think that um, she fits really well into the community that we have already created. And I think her story is so amazingly powerful. And so tell us, first of all, um, you wrote a book, right? Yeah, I did. And um, that's available now. But tell us, tell us how you got to the point to where you thought it would be a really good idea to write a book. I mean, because a lot of people <laughs> have probably considered doing that because it seems like something that would be interesting to do. But that's, I mean, that's quite a task to take on is to write a book. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it turns out writing the book is the easiest part. Um, publishing it is a little challenging. And then marketing it is like, that's where it's really challenging. So if you um, don't want to make a business out of a book, writing a book is actually pretty easy if you have something powerful and meaningful to share. Um, it's actually, it, it was a super fun, wild, intense process that I absolutely loved. Um, but I never intended to write a book. Um, I mean, many years ago, I had my master's in counseling and um, I was a therapist and I had always planned on writing a book underneath the mental health world. Um, but then I stepped out in order to raise my family and homeschool my kids. And um, I never really thought about running a book again, writing a book again. But, um, you know, I reached a point where um, in a certain section of my life, everybody asked me, how do you do what you do? I don't even know how you managed to pull that off. And I thought, you know what? I think I have a story that needs to be told that will help a lot of people. And so that's what made me pull the trigger on actually writing a book. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. the topic of your book is basically how to create meals for your family that are healthy and also like gluten-free, allergen-free, like more foods that people are more, it's like today's type of eating. Like people are concerned about food sensitivities. People are concerned are. about allergens. They're concerned about feeding their families healthy, but they're also worried about how much money they're spending on food. And I hear yeah. it all the time. I would eat healthy, but I just can't afford to. Right. And my answer is, well, you can't afford not to. But right. so tell, me, tell me a little bit about your story. Like, how did you get to the point to where you realized that something needed to change? Yeah, well, um, so about the story starts like 10 or 11 years ago, but I will not bore you with, you know, 11 years of history here. I'm going to bring it down to a little, little, little snippet of our story. About 11 years ago, one of our kids was diagnosed with um, an autoimmune disorder called EOE that affects his esophagus and it's exacerbated by food allergies. And his was serious. I mean, he was vomiting 25 times a day. Um, he was severely impacted by his disease when we got the diagnosis because he had had symptoms for years before we understood it. Um, and so during the diagnostic process, they ran food allergy testing. And as you know, the autoimmune system, when it's overwhelmed, um, it can actually show up allergic to things that maybe you're not allergic to for your whole life. But at that point, he was showing allergies to, you know, maybe 25 foods or something like that. It's been a long time, so I don't remember. Um, so we, he was profoundly ill. Um, we overhauled, the minute we found out he was ill and we found out his food aller allergies, we overhauled our food system overnight. We went to a squeaky clean diet. Um, right away, we removed all of his allergens. And then as I started studying um, autoimmune diseases and inflammation as a mom, okay, so I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a health professional, I'm not a food professional, um, I'm a mental health professional and a mom. So I took those two things that I knew how to be 
And I started researching. I do know how to research. I started researching autoimmune diseases and inflammation. And I realized that not only did we need an allergy-free diet, but we also needed a whole food diet. And we needed a produce-rich diet. Okay, so, and I'm not going to talk about all the reasons that I came to that conclusion because I'm not qualified for to, but you certainly can as a <laughs> naturopath. Right. Um, but the research was very clear. It was very easy for me to see that we needed a whole food diet, we needed an allergy free diet, and we needed a produce rich diet in order to really treat that autoimmune disease. And so I just dove full force in. We went full force, allergy free, whole food, produce rich. I never paid attention to cost once because my kid was profoundly ill. I didn't see that I had another choice. And so um, I never even calculated our food budget, nothing. I never read how to save money on food because every time I read about how to save money on food, it was all like couponing um, and all the coupons were for food that we couldn't eat. You know, they don't, you don't get a coupon for avocados. Like no one's, no one's couponing like tur ground turkey. Um, and so I just quickly realized that the coupons weren't working for me. Any of the blogs that I read or anything. Now, granted, this was 10, 11 years ago, and a lot has really improved in this area, not in the couponing area. But there, when I looked, there was nothing on the market to help me save money with this type of a diet. It was, the other diets were very bread heavy, pasta heavy, processed food heavy, you know, and so I just made a conclusion in my mind that I think a lot of people, you actually mentioned it in the intro, a lot of people make this conclusion, I can't save money while I'm eating this way. And so I just surrendered to a really out of control food budget. And my husband said, well, I guess I have to work more to pay for our food bill. And he did that. Um, fast forward X number of years. I don't know how many. Um, my, we're fully self-employed people. And my husband had a contract reduction of about 50%. So our, our income was cut in half. That's really scary. It was a big deal. We, we kind of saw it coming. So we had some, you know, contracts have like windows and we saw it coming. Um, and so we had a little bit of a time to adapt and we've always lived below our means. Some not 50% below our means. Um, and we ran into, um, you know, Dave Ramsey and we, we knew we had a problem. We had to cut our bills or raise our income by 50%, you know, or a combination of the both. And, um, I told my husband, I said, I'll do Dave Ramsey, but I'm not doing beans and rice. Um, and you know, he's always like beans and rice, rice and beans, beans and rice, rice and beans, you know? <laughs> and, um, I told him, I said, we have to eat whole food. We have to eat allergy free and we have to eat produce rich. So I'm going to figure out what I can do. And so I set out on a mission to overhaul our food system to make something affordable. That was whole food, produce rich and allergy friendly. And um, there was nothing on the market at the time, not a single thing. So I created my own system. And um, something that I shared with you when we were talking, and I, I only ever thought about this when I was trying to overhaul my food system, that, you know, whatever ends up on your plate at night for dinner is actually a series of a lot of habits and a lot of decisions. Um, and so when people say things like, eat out less, that will save you money. Well, of course, eating out less will save you money. But you have to go backwards and reestablish a whole bunch of habits in order to stop eating out. Just stop eating out. Well, if you don't have a system in place to stop eating out, you're going to keep eating out. If you don't have a system in place for how to eat a whole food diet with lots of fruits and vegetables cheaply, you, you are not going to be able to do it. And so I basically took a look at all of our food habits, every habit of when I went to the store, how I went to the store, um, what I came to the store with, what I bought while I was there, um, where I stored it, how I stored it. You know, I, I evaluated all my tiny little habits that led me to the type of a food bill that we had. 
And, you know, I'll just share that when we sat down and did Dave Ramsey, of course, one of the steps is to look at how much you've been spending. And um, we had been spending $2,000 a month on food. We were spending um, $1,200 a month on groceries and $800 a month on eating out. And the reason we spent so much on eating out is because I was cooking all these complicated dishes. So I was spending two to three hours a day in the kitchen cooking all of these really. Whoops. I do that every time. Sorry. That's okay. I tried to reply to someone's comment and I turned on. Oh. Yo. <laughs> I can't actually see any comments. So I'm sorry if I'm not replying to somebody. So, um, so we were spending $800 a month eating out because I was cooking too complicated of dishes and I had four kids. I was homeschooling them. We were running two companies. I didn't have two to three hours a day to spend in the kitchen. So when I got overwhelmed, we'd go eat out, we'd pick up takeout. And so I had to back up my whole system. I had to simplify. I am now, I kid you not, I am not exaggerating. I spend on the weekdays, 15 minutes on food prep. 15 minutes a day on food prep. Um, I bet a so, lot of people would be interested to find out how you do that. Because I yes. bet you spend a lot more time than that. I actually think it's one of my best secrets and skills, how I do that. Um, because the two objections that I hear, and probably you hear as well, I can't eat well because I don't have time and I can't afford it. Yeah. And so my system addresses both things. We have four kids. We homeschool two of them. Two of them are in school. We run two companies. We don't have time to be spending all day in the kitchen. And if I have a complicated food system, then we are going to eat out, period. That is what is going to happen. And then that blows up our food budget. Um, So... So I took about 12 weeks to six months to overhaul our system, create new habits. Um, And I ended up cutting our food bill in half. So I went from $2,000 a month down to $1,000 a month. We spent 720 on groceries and about 250 on eating out, mostly because we like to eat out. Um, Actually, we really enjoy that. My husband and I both enjoy that a lot. Um, and we can afford that, but we could cut that out um, if we needed to. I wouldn't want to. I would cry about it, but I would get over it. <laughs> um, and so That's we did that for six go people, ahead. right? So a thousand dollars a month for six people, right? Which is like one hundred and sixty-six dollars a person for a whole month of groceries. Well, no, our groceries are actually out. That includes eating out. Our groceries are one hundred and twenty dollars a month per person. So I calculate $1 per meal per person and $1 per day for snacks per person. So I have a $4 per person per day food budget. Wow. And we eat allergy-free, whole food, produce rich. And I don't coupon ever. And I don't, um, uh, I don't spend, I spend 15 minutes on the weekdays in the kitchen I do budget one hour on the weekends to, to prepare myself for the week. So, um, and I enlist everyone in my home to help out with that. So I will share that one secret. Um, everyone in our house from the age of eight up learns how to uh, cook in our house because I'm not a slave. I'm not like, you know, I mean, I, I manage the food system in our home. Um, but everybody participates. So, and, and kids on starting at the age of about four or five, start helping in the kitchen, but they start cooking at about eight um, in our house. So I definitely enlist the help of my kids. Um, but I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, the I cut it in half, $120 per month per person for groceries, um, which what I love about that, Annette, is if our family were to receive a SNAP allotment, which SNAP is the new name for food stamps, Like if we were to be food stamp recipients, we would receive more than $720 a month. So we are, our food bill is coming in below the SNAP allotment for a family of our size with ages and how they determine allotments. So even somebody on who is on food stamps or SNAP could take the principles from my book, overhaul their food system and be able to eat 
a whole food, produce-rich, allergy-friendly diet. And when I discovered that, when I was researching for my book, I was just so excited that I could offer that to people. Like, what a gift. I just, I'm blown away. I'm almost speechless because I, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking $120 per person for a whole month of food. I'm just completely blown away by that. And I, I even knew that before we got on this video, but I still like right? I look at my phone and do the math. I'm like, seriously, this like, is wait, what <laughs> is she for real? Right? Yes. So and so here's, here's what I'd like to say is my, what I love to do is I love to bust the myth that a whole food diet has to take your whole day or your whole paycheck. Like I want to help people eat whole food on a tight budget and a tight schedule, because the reality is most Americans are on a tight budget and they're on a tight schedule and, and they need to be eating better because chronic disease is on the rise. And we all know that what we put in our mouth, it affects diabetes. It affects autoimmune diseases. I'm not saying it causes them um, because I'm really not qualified to say that, but I can say because the research is crystal clear by a million doctors, I just exaggerated, but it is crystal clear by a lot of doctors um, that oh, what we put in our yeah, <laughs> it affects all of those chronic diseases that we are facing. And if I can help people, um, and Americans also have a financial problem, and I have a passion for this because debt is is a disease, in my opinion. It it's it kills you like we are not created or made to be in debt. We I want Americans to be free from debt. I want people to have a thousand dollar emergency savings account. That way, when their tires go flat, it's they, they don't have to miss work and then they get behind on their bills. I mean, those are the realities that people are facing. Absolutely. And so they think, you know, because I'm on a tight budget, I can't eat well. And I really want to just shatter that, that absolutely not. I can help you. Um, but what I can tell you is you won't just stumble into the grocery store, pick up all whole foods, fill your grocery cart with produce and get to the um, haphazardly and get to the checkout and come in at a dollar per person per meal per day, uh, per right. meal. You, you won't. Yeah, you need a I shop, and I'm sitting here thinking I really need to go through your your program because right. I don't typically plan what I shop. And for my own personal self, I was single for 20 years. And a lot of people don't realize that, but I was single for like 20 years, actually closer to 25 years. And I shopped on a whim. Typically, I would maybe go once every three weeks. I would buy a whole bunch of stuff. And then I would end up throwing most of it in the trash because yeah. I try to buy healthy foods, but healthy foods spoil or they, do. they go bad. So then I would end up throwing away 30 or 40 or $50 worth of food. And it just gets so frustrating that I stopped shopping and started eating out all the time. And when you do that, not only does your wallet get thinner, but your waistline gets bigger. It really <laughs> does. And your, and your cholesterol goes up and your, um, you're, I mean, there's 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 actually really good studies that link um, cholesterol um, directly to like how many times you eat out. Be, or um, it's a it, it's definitely obviously not good for you. You're right. It grows your waistline and it creates a lot of other problems in your life um, that maybe don't show up immediately, but um, they definitely can catch up to you. Yeah. Well, and in my situation, I have a lot of food sensitivities. Yeah. Uh, gluten in is one of my problems, but even so much more than that is I can't eat gluten foods that say gluten free because I'm also sensitive to a lot of the grains that they use to yeah. make gluten free foods from. So I'm right. basically grain free, but I can eat a little bit of corn. Like, so I could eat corn chips if the corn chips aren't tainted with something else. So right. I literally have to read every single label when I'm getting food. And when you go out to eat, you don't have that option in no. places. Some you places don't. do have a book that you can get, but it just makes ordering food so stressful. And yeah. um, when you're dealing with food sensitivities, 
or specific dietary requirements because of a health situation or because your doctor has told you this is the way you need to eat. Or nowadays, a lot of people are doing either a paleo, a Mediterranean or a keto lifestyle. Right. And everybody's like, I just can't afford to eat this way. But right. you're here to tell everybody that yes, you can. And yeah, absolutely. Super exciting information. So yes, we're gonna do a video like this once a week for the rest of this month. Um, and then we're also going to have some private videos inside of my low carb lifestyle group. I'll drop the link in here for you guys. If you're not a member of the low carb lifestyle group, make sure you get in there because in the month of January, Shelly has agreed to break down some of her very specific things and kind of give you like a crash course, so to speak, in how to do some of these things for yourself and help your family save money and eat healthier and do all of those things. But um, we don't have time to go through all of that. We've already been doing this for 20 minutes. Right. It flies so fast. And I'm sure you guys don't all have time to just sit here on on Facebook either. It's probably lunchtime. You got to get back to work. So um, join the group. And we're going to do a few more of these videos this month, probably once a week. And then in January, Shelly is going to be giving us some additional information inside of the private community that you have to be a member to see. But in the meantime, Shelly, tell them the name of your book and how sure. they can get their hands on it in case they want to start doing their homework now. Perfect. Um, well, thanks for giving me the chance to share with your audience. Um, I, I really have a passion to help people hit their food goals and their financial goals and help them do them simultaneously. Um, I just think it's such a big deal. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Um, so my book is called Dinner for a Dollar. Um, and my name is Shelley Longenecker. Um, so that's the author. Um, you can find me on my website, which is www.dinnerforadollar.co. So it's not .com, .com is taken. So I had to use .co. Um, <clears throat> On my site, you can find where to buy the, it's available in ebook, in print, and also in audiobook. Um, ebook and print are available on Amazon. Audiobook is available through my site. Um, right now, Amazon is actually running a special on the print version. And because it's Amazon sale and not mine, I actually don't know when it will end. Um, the book is normally $19.99, but it is currently like $11.53 or something. It's a significant savings. So um, I'm not trying to pressure you to buy the book. I'm just letting you know that it's there. Um, if you go to my site, you can actually um, sign up to get a free chapter from the book. Um, and that would actually be a great way to start if you don't know if you like me yet or not, <laughs> or if you like my writing, or if you think it's worth the money to buy it. Um, a great way to check that out is by going to my site and signing up to get that free chapter. And that will help you, you know, check the book out a little bit and learn a little bit more about me. So I have you on, I can't hear you, Annette. I muted myself because there my we go. In and he's unpacking and getting things ready. He just got back yeah. from this trip. Um, so they can go to dinnerforadollar.co to get yeah. a free chapter of your book. Right. Correct? Right. Okay. I wanted to make sure I understood that properly. So yeah. um, perfect. Well, I love hearing your story and I cannot wait to share more of your story and really get down to the nitty gritty with some of this stuff. And I know that many of the people that are friends with me and people that follow me will love the information that you have to share. And I am absolutely positive that they're going to want to hear more from you. So um, we will figure out what day next week works for us and we will plan it and we'll get some information out to everyone. And let's see. Yes. So we have two weeks, two full weeks before the week of Christmas. So we can get some good videos going between now and then. So um, let us all know what you think. Make sure you guys thank Shelly for sharing her information with us. Um, give her some comments and some hearts. I see a lot of hearts flying across the screen. Um, so I can't but, see anything. So I apologize if anyone asked me a question. So I'm not ignoring you. I just, 
I can't see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any specific questions. A okay, lot of great. said great information. And can you see them when I pop them up on the screen? Do they show on your end? No, I don't see anything at all. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. But so you guys need to let Shelly know how good of a job she did and how much <laughs> hear more from her in the comments because she didn't get to see any of the good stuff. So um, again, thank you so much. And I can't wait to do another video. And I'm super excited to learn more about your book and what you have. And I can't wait to get my copy in the mail. Super excited right. to look at it. Um, Shelly says, thank you. So um, great. So we will, we'll talk again soon and we'll get another video scheduled as soon as it fits into your schedule. Thanks. Great. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye-bye.